This weekend was one for the record books. A relentless storm has drenched BC's south coast, a region used to rain, but not like this. This is not the typical run-of-the-mill uh, autumn or winter storm uh, like we see several uh, every season. We're thinking it may be on the order of once every 5 to uh, 20 years. Vancouver Island caught the brunt of it, some areas recording a whopping 370 millimetres of rain in just over 24 hours. The intense system stretching south into Washington state, downpours drowning the Sumas border crossing, closing it all together. It triggered states of emergencies in pockets of the Fraser Valley too, including the district of Kent where 32 homes had to be evacuated as the water kept rising. It was relentless, it just kept going and going. Our water infrastructure is damaged and uh, the road, it is also damaged um, quite severely. The flash floods have also caused mudslides, wiping out entire stretches of road, including the only access to Sasquatch Mountain Ski Hill, a few hours east of Vancouver, stranding some 400 people at the top. We have had uh, an update from the roads crews that it's kind of looking at about another three to four days um, before they can open up the road to at least single lane traffic. In the meantime, a helicopter has started shuttling people off the mountain for $150 each, a flight to nearby Chilliwack. The fact that we could have been trapped all week got us out on the helicopter, uh, but we're happy to be out. We had a great time. We had lots of food. The lodge was amazing. Uh, they took care of everyone on the mountain. The chopper is not only dropping people off, but also airlifting supplies back up to the resort. There is some good news on the horizon. A brief stretch of dry weather is in the forecast. And many are hoping it's enough time to recover from this last storm before the next system rolls in sometime midweek. Tanya Fletcher, CBC News, Vancouver.